Okay, duct temperatures with heat pumps. On the last one, I talked a little bit about filters and airflow and stuff. Okay, heat pumps, well, let's start back here. 120 degrees is the common temperature that you will see for duct temperature. It's not so hot that you get burned if you're standing on the, the uh, floor diffuser, but it's hot enough that it won't feel cold. Now understand this thing about feeling cold. If I have air moving, okay, my uh, body temperature is 98.6 or whatever we want to call it. Okay, if I put my hand on the air flowing out of a register at 100 degrees, it'll probably feel kind of cool. It'll feel lukewarm a little bit, but it's not going to feel like warm air. That's because it's evaporating water off of my hands, the sweat, which is cooling my hand down. Now if I drop that temperature to say 85, it's going to feel quite cool. This is what happens in pumps. Pumps can't put 120 degree air out. Mechanically, it's too hard on the compressor. The compressor head pressure has to be so high in order to put out 120 degree duct temperature that it'll damage the compressor. So duct temperature maximum, absolute maximum on a heat pump is between 90 and 95. You have to educate customers on this because they think there's something wrong. It's blowing cold air on it. And another thing about it, as the outdoor temperature drops, so does the duct temperature. Remember in my first one I was talking about, okay, at 50 degrees we're getting 35,000, and at 20 degrees we're getting about 15. Well, that's what's happening. Well, if I'm getting less big to use, the temperature's going to be lower. If the CFM's the same, the temperature uh, is going to be lower if I'm moving a little less number of BTUs. So it will get uncomfortably cool. I actually had a customer one time that was just terribly angry at me, and this was probably about 1979 or something. He got in this new pump. It was like 10 degrees outside. And he says, there's something wrong with that pump. That thing is, every time it goes on, it cools me off. Okay, well, it wasn't doing that. But it wasn't keeping up with the low. He said, it'll blow warm air, warm air for a while, and then it goes and blows cold air, and it cools it down. Well, it wasn't doing that. What it was doing is the heat pump was running, but because of that outdoor temperature, the duct temperature was in the high 70s. It was like 78 or 9 or something like that. Pretty low. He looked, oh, it's cooling me off. It's not because your temperature set for 70 in the structure, but it feels cool to the customer. What the warm air was was when the backup heat came on. And I'll talk about backup heat in another video. Backup heat would come on, and say, ah, nice warm air. Well, yeah, but that's electric heat. And it's not as efficient as a pump. But he was not happy, and I think he pulled the pump out because it's so unhappy with it. It was doing its job. It was doing exactly what it should have. Sometimes us guys have to deal with customers when we really just want to deal with equipment. But we do have to deal with customers because they buy the equipment. So uh, duct temperature is going to go down. It's going to start out low. It should never be high. It should never be 120 degrees. If it is, that compressor is kissing you goodbye. So that, the temperature of that pump, uh, the temperature of the airflow coming out of the duct is going to be cool. Next one, we're going to talk about backup heat.